When I was a child, I used to lay in bed late at night, staring at the ceiling, listening to my father scream. Scream at my mother, scream at yet another failed masterpiece. Finally, just scream out into the darkness. It became my lullaby. And even when they took me away, the screams followed. I was once told that insanity runs in my family. It's time to make it stop. in here.
still life. This is a mess. I can hear you in there. I'm coming, you furry little bastards. You're not getting away this time. how it went. Maybe... No, that's not right. Oh, God damn it! What? Is that? Oh, yes! That's it! I wonder when was the last time this place saw sunlight. What are you doing? Put that down! 
You're much too old for that childish nonsense. was walking through the woods, when suddenly, out of nowhere, jumped out you-know-who. Eyes glowing bloody red, teeth sharp as razors, and yet the big bad wolf did not seem to faze her. Be careful, little girl, the big bad wolf sneered. You're in fantasy land, where things ain't what they seem. Oh, shush, you big old meanie, the frightened girl exclaimed. You're the only threat in this wonderful land. With my magic crayons, I can do no harm. I can make the trees yellow, turn them upside down, turn grass into candy, make the sky go red. I can do whatever pops into my head. The wolf was unimpressed with his show of skill. You do have the power to do what you will. Alas, I humbly urge you to practice restraint, for you are responsible for what you create. You're nasty, jealous, and mean, said the little girl. I just want to have fun, and you want me to learn. I wish a big old rock would fall down from the sky and crush your big bad mouth into a minced meat pie. Don't do it, I beg you, the big wolf cried. You lack scale and perspective, my sweet little child. But it was too late. His warning fell on deaf ears. Down came the rock and smashed them all to smithereens. Creativity is not a toy, it's a gift! Do you want to squander it like all those careless brats out there? I warned you time and time again! I won't let you waste time in these mindless doodles! This is for your own good! Finally! Are you ready to embrace true art? Oh, the summer trees. So green and vibrant and full of life but also young and inexperienced. Let's try to find them a more poignant season, where they are wiser and have some stories to tell. Yes, the autumn of life, when man seeks shelter from the elements. 
let's see how our little hut fares when the skies grow dark. You see? In the end, all we take for granted is fragile and temporary. Man passes while nature endures. Speaking of which, I don't think our proud stallion likes the weather. Let's brighten things up a bit. you time and time again I won't let you waste time in these mindless doodles this is for your own good
Are you trying to annoy me? This is not what I've taught you. The little girl in red came upon a crossroads. There she stopped and wondered, which way should I go? Up jumped the wolf and gave the poor girl a fright. Do not be afraid, I'm not gonna bite. One of these paths with danger is fraught, while the other one, most assuredly, is not. The little girl in red took a shortcut she knew, through a lovely field of corn, all covered in dew. But the field grew dark and full of despair, and a eerie sense of dread filled the morning air. The girl heard the wolf yelling from afar, You have chosen poorly, you will not get far. Had you only learned how shadow and light intertwined on canvas, you could have chosen right. The little girl in red ran as fast as she could, her flowing dark hair tucked under her hood. But she quickly got tired, worn out by her flight, and succumbed to the darkness, never to see the light. What? You think I'm enjoying this? You think I'm doing this out of spite? Get it right next time and I won't have to fix it for you!
doing this on purpose, aren't you? Finally! Are you ready to embrace true art? You see? In the end, all we take for granted is fragile and temporary. Man passes while nature endures. Speaking of which, I don't think our proud stallion likes the weather. Let's brighten things up a bit. That's right! The sun bestows its kind rays upon the land. It's getting warmer and warmer until finally... Marvelous, isn't it? I know it seems like a tragedy, but a beautiful tragedy is always better than an unremarkable existence. In his own way, I believe he meant well. He wanted me to excel, hoping that when the time came, I would succeed where he failed. Avoid his mistakes. God knows he made plenty of those. What's wrong with this thing? Huh. I don't remember that being there. I can hear you out there! Please, please help me. It hurts! Oh, it hurts so much! I can't take it anymore! Thank you. It's so good to feel that there's still beauty in this world.
where I think it is. Oh, hey, hey there, princess. You, you want to sit on daddy's lap? Come on, it's okay. Alright, young lady. Shall we continue? Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw something moving in the corner of her eye. And yet, she did not dare to move, for she knew that that would be the end of her. The princess heard a fearsome growl. The witch had unleashed her familiar, the hellhound. The monster slipped in the air, its perky ears wary of even the slightest sound. The princess remained motionless, letting the monster pass. There was a stillness in the air. The princess breathed a sigh of relief. For a moment, it seemed like the worst was behind her, and yet she knew that it was not over. There was still danger nearby, waiting for her slightest move. Frozen in terror, she kept looking straight ahead. Suddenly, she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the... <coughs> It was the evil witch herself. The wretched thing despised beauty and innocence, for she had neither. The <laughs> was near, just outside of you, but our heroine didn't dare to look. She had to keep her head straight, lest she be cursed by the witch's foul magic. She could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck. <laughs> sudden urge to run away, but fought it with all her will, for she knew that was precisely what the witch would have wanted. And then, just like that, the chill was gone. She saw a glimmer of light over the horizon. The sun was almost upon her. It was almost dawn. It was almost over. And there, the princess stood triumphant in the sun. Smiling as she... Wait. That's not right. Her face. Why is she still... Scared? Oh, God. I didn't mean to... Princess. I am so sorry. It's not that he was cruel. It's just that... To him... Reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world, unless it was translated to him through a canvas.
Hey there. Oh, come on, don't be afraid. It won't bite. Here, try for yourself. No, no, that, that's not quite right. Still not quite there. Whoever's pounding on that piano, quit it! Did I not make myself clear? You know what? I have an idea. Go get your crayons. See the colors? Bad. Look at you, young lady. It looks like talent runs in the family.
was my fault. My mistake. I should never forget what I did. What I made her do. I need to hold on to this. Not as penance. Not as punishment. As a reminder.
Hey there, young lady. Shouldn't you be in bed? It's all right, you can stay. Just don't make too much noise. Daddy's working. What do you mean, who's that? It's Mommy. What? That's not what Mommy looks like? Well, she does to me.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Come out. She's waiting for us. Don't make me do this by myself. No. I don't want her to see me like this. I'm I'm sorry. I just I can't. supposed to do now. I can't do this without you.
I hate you! Good. At least you can still feel something. I look at you and I see nothing. Not the beautiful girl I fell in love with. Not the mother of my child. Not even the hateful monster you pretend to be. You're just... empty. I look at you and I feel nothing. It scares the hell out of me. You forgot to say how hideous I am. Go on! I know you want to. Princess, Princess, wake up. I need you to get dressed real quick. There are men coming. Some very bad men. They want to take you away from me. But I won't let them. We won't let them, will we? Yes. Now I remember. Throughout all the chaos and misery, in his own flawed and misguided way, he did love her after all. His way of expressing it was a different matter altogether. It's... it's me. But what does it mean? Well, there has to be more to this.
this supposed to... Wait. The lines are... <gasps> yes. Now, now I see it. Like you knew I would. I had to dig deep to uncover what my father really wanted me to find. In the process, I realized what he was trying to tell me. This house was nothing but a tomb. There was nothing left for me here. No answers. No solace. No closure. My true inheritance lay within. And then, just like that, it finally happened. For the first time in my life, I saw the world through my father's eyes. I was once told that insanity runs in my family. Let it 